Hi Foxy friends, this is Sarah from Foxy's Domestic Sign and today I thought I would share my favorite products that I use to do my hair. Um, not any shampoos or anything like that, but things that I use to help me do my hairstyle. First I'm going to show you my favorite heat protectant because you, that's usually the start of any hairstyle is a heat protectant to protect your hair from any kind of blow drying or um, curling that you're going to do to it. So when my hair is wet, my favorite product to use is this Tresemme Soothing Spray. I think it smells really good and it works really well when your hair is wet. This is what I'll use if my hair is wet and I want to blow dry it, which I try not to blow dry it too often. I do wash my hair just once or twice a week, usually once a week, so I will use that if I have to blow dry it, otherwise I usually let it air dry. The thing that I do like using for heat protectant when I know I'm going to do my hair is this Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press. The thing that I like the most about it is really light, and so when you put it on hair it doesn't feel wet like um, some of the other heat protectants I've used. It just, it doesn't feel wet so it's really dry, it almost goes on like a fine mist, but I know that it's protecting my hair. And I think it helps for the hairstyle to stay. If I have really clean hair and I need to kind of dirty it up a little bit for a hairstyle, so for example, I just washed my hair, and so if I were to do a hairstyle right now, it would just slip out and it wouldn't look that great. So in order to kind of create some grit and texture into my hair, this is Amika and this is Texturizing Spray. And before I did this hair challenge, I really had no idea that this product even existed. I think I saw it on um, Kate from Small Things blog. I think she used it, I believe. I believe that's who I saw it from and so I decided to give it a try and it was seriously game changer. So if you ever have hair that's clean and you need to kind of dirty it up a little bit, I know some people like to use dry shampoo, but this is um, what I use is this texturizing spray and it kind of helps to give you that grit and it kind of creates like a stickiness but doesn't feel sticky in your hair. And like if you have really flat hair, you can use this texturizing spray to kind of give your um, roots some lift. So you would spray it on your roots right here, and then you would kind of scrunch it up a little, and it will give your hair that lift and volume. So if you have really thin hair, you should try this product out. It kind of just creates a little puff in your hair. I don't know the best way to say that. It creates a puff. From the same brand, I love their dry shampoo. This is pretty much the only dry shampoo that I will use. I have played around with several dry shampoos. Some of them don't work and they were actually gave me like a chemical burn on my scalp. So I do not use those products, obviously. Um, I did end up throwing it away. I love this dry shampoo. It works really well. So I wash my hair on one day, I wait a day, and maybe on the second or third day of clean hair is when I start using the dry shampoo. So that it can get me to five or six days without having to wash my hair. If you wanna go five to six days without washing your hair, I will link down below to a post that I wrote on how to get your hair. You actually do have to train your hair to get it so that it doesn't need to be washed every day. I used to be that person that needed to wash their hair every day, but now I only have to wash it maybe once a week. Twice a week if I'm doing a lot of working out and my hair is really sweaty or my head is really sweaty, but usually I just need to do it once a week. The next product that I really love is this Tresemme hairspray in extra holds. I have used several other hairsprays, but so far this is the one that has caught my eye and I've been using. This is my second can that I've actually bought that I really like. So this is how I finish all of my hairstyles. It has an extra hold to it, but it does still feel light and airy, so it doesn't kind of give you that crunchy feel that you sometimes feel when you're doing hair. I've used it on my hair now, and as you can see, it's not crunchy, but it's totally staying. The next product that I absolutely love is this dry wax. Have you ever heard of dry wax? I know I had never heard of dry wax before I started doing my hair tutorials. It literally looks like it's just an aerosol spray like this and it actually has like a wax to it. It smells kind of waxy. It helps for those flyaways. So when you're doing a hairstyle, sometimes when you're doing a braid, let's say, and you have those wispies that kind of stand out, you can spray this dry wax in it before you start braiding and it helps keep those flyaways at bay. I tried using hairspray, but that I don't feel like that works as well as this dry wax. Um, so let's see for example, I have some, I don't know if you can see but I have some flyaways here so I can spray it on like this and kind of pat it down and you see how those flyaways just kind of went away. That's exactly why you use this dry wax. There is also a gel dry wax. You can put this in your hair if you are know you're going to braid your hair so you can put this in your hair beforehand. Braid your hair so that you don't have those flyaways and those wispy hairs. The last hair product, I guess you can say, is this L'Oreal Boost It. I think I actually got this in an Ipsy bag. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this in an Ipsy bag. But let's see, it does say to use this. 
before you dry your hair, but I found, actually my friend Becky, I'll link her um, website down below, she got the same thing in her Ipsy bag, and she said that she used it after she curled her hair to help it stay longer, and I totally think that it works. I was kind of hesitant because it's a little bit wet and I thought that it would weigh down my hair after I sprayed it. But after I curl my hair, if I know that I'm gonna be going all day with curly hair and that's just what how I'm styling it. Like for example, I sprayed it on my hair right now and I expect this curls to stay until today's, um, what's today? Today's Thursday when I'm filming this and it should stay until Saturday and my hair should still pretty be, the curls will be looser but they'll still be there. So I do like using this if I know I'm going to be doing a hair style that I want the curls to kind of showcase. The other things that I love is bobby pins. I will link the video below I did on how to use a bobby pin. The trick to a good hairstyle is really good bobby pins. You have got to throw those bobby pins away that you buy from Target or CVS or one of those depart um, one of those convenience stores. You need to buy the really good ones. You can go to Sally's Beauty Supply. I bought these on Amazon. This is what they look like. I like the Diane's bobby pins in black. They do also have it in bronze, so for you blonde haired ladies out there, or brown haired ladies, you can get those bronze ones. Um, these bobby pins are amazing. They're super thick. They're awesome. They have extra little grip. I don't know because the metal that it's made out of is thicker. I don't know, but it, they are amazing. When you go from those drugstore bobby pins to these bobby pins, you're going to notice a huge difference. I would say they're probably twice as thick as the ones that you get at the grocery store. So you're going to be able to hold a lot more hair and it's going to be more effective if you use these bigger bobby pins. Um, the other thing that I like to use are these clear elastics. I just get these off of Amazon. They're clear elastics. I use these because they're super small and they're easy to take out of your hair at the end of the night. So you can reuse them. Um, I don't use them if it's at the end of a braid because my hair is black that you can really see them. But if you have blonde hair, these would be a good alternative to use instead of regular rubber bands, these little small ones. They do come in different sizes. This just happens to be the smallest size because of the way that I use them, I know that I need the small ones. The thing that I use are these little black rubber bands. These little black rubber bands are not reusable, so once you use them once, you kind of have to tear it to get it out of your hair, but they do hold your hair, and it is black, and they're thin, and it helps me to do all of my hairstyle. I use this pomade right here. Um, it's actually, I think you find this in the men's section for for when men do their hair, but I do like using this for braids as well. So you can either use this dry wax or this pomade. They both do the same thing. I think they both work equally well. This I feel is a little more messy. So this I'll use, you just put it on your fingertips. It looks like a, um, I don't know, a gel like this. It's kind of clear, sticky, see how? But it's funny, you see my uh, fingerprint now, but in a couple minutes, the fingerprint will be gone. Um, so you do use this and I kind of just put it in my fingertips, I do this and I put it on my hair like this and then I can braid my hair and I don't get those wispy things and it smells good too. <laughs> so those are the 13 things that I like to use to do my hair over this past year when I'm done, when I challenge myself to do my hair weekly or a few times a week. These are the products that I found. I've gone through, I went through a lot of products to find what works for my hair. And I think that's really just key. So you need to find that, something that works with your hair. I have semi, I mean, I think I have medium hair, but maybe some people think I have long hair. Um, I have longish hair. It's kind of uh, thin-ish. The actual strands of my hair are thick, but the volume of hair, I don't have that much, even though it seems like I do, I really don't. Um, so these are the products that I found that work for me and I hope that you find something that works for you. If you have something that is your holy grail go-to hair product, please link it down below so that I can see and maybe try it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!